Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emma and welcome back. And today I am going to be doing my most requested video ever in the entire whole of my channel and that is an extreme hunger q a i didn't i didn't want to do this video in the past because i was still experiencing extreme hunger and i didn't want to like really you know do how to get rid of extreme hunger when i was still experiencing extreme hunger myself so i waited until i wasn't experiencing extreme hunger anymore and three weeks ago my extreme hunger went away and i was waiting for some time because i was expecting it to make a return because it often did this thing where it would go off for like two days or three days and then it would like come at me again and i'd be like oh no it came back i didn't get rid of it so i didn't want to have like you know like a false hope kind of thing so i waited a week and it still didn't come back then i waited two weeks and it still didn't come back and then now it's been three weeks and it still hasn't came back and now my hunger is kind of normalized so i decided this is the perfect time to make a video on extreme hunger and i get dms constantly like every other subject as well but extreme hunger is definitely the one that tops them all and that's probably because there isn't enough awareness about it and there isn't enough talk about it um the only way i learned about extreme hunger was few through the minnesota starvation experiment that is the only way i discovered about extreme hunger um i thought i was binging i thought i was you know this magic unicorn that was the only one going through this and then my therapist said to me when i was long long ago in cams um she didn't tell me about extreme hunger and i didn't even bring this up to her because i didn't even know it was a thing but she told me to research the minnesota starvation experiment and i didn't do it when i went home i didn't do it because i just i didn't want any help from them and i didn't like i didn't believe anything they were saying at this time and everything else they said to me it just wasn't helpful so i kind of just shrugged this off as like something that wasn't helpful and then about like how many years like one year down the line or something i decided to actually look into the starvation experiment when i just tortured myself and when i um like got rid of all services and stuff like that i decided to go on my own and i decided to research everything i needed to know about recovery and that's when i discovered about the minnesota starvation experiment and in this i discovered lots of things like extreme hunger so it said that the people were really really hungry and that they ate up to 11,000 calories a day and they still didn't feel satisfied and um like it said that the feeling of satisfaction just kind of disappeared from them and i was like oh my god like i'm experiencing this and then when i started reading on more about it i discovered a thing called extreme hunger and then all of a sudden i got hit with these blogs and i was just like my life was enlightened and i was just so pleased that i wasn't alone it felt so lonely when it was happening because you know come on instagram and you see these people eating normal portions and being satisfied i you know what i see normal portions but nine times out of ten it isn't enough at all um but like you go online and you see these people like eating these portions or whatever that they think is satisfaction for them whatever and like you're like why can't that be me why can't i just eat a slice of cake and be okay why do i want to eat the entire cake the all the time and i just didn't get it until i did, I did some research and stuff like that and i actually learned about extreme hunger so i guess that is the one thing that i did learn from um the only thing i can really thank my therapist for um was literally you know giving me that name that experiment but i'm pretty sure i would have found it out on my own but that did really open up like an entire world for me of just like it really comforted me to know so i hope this video does the exact same with you guys and i hope this video you know um lets you know that you're not alone and i hope it gives you some advice and i just want to let you know that it is possible to get rid of extreme hunger i've experienced extreme hunger for like three years now which sounds insane um but that is mainly because of the fact that i didn't you know i didn't i didn't give in to the extreme hunger i constantly went off back and forward restricting and then um you know then compensating when i had like these huge feasts and things i didn't listen to my body and then four months ago so this extreme hunger when i started recovering when i went all in it's only lasted four months 
so in the entire span that i've had my eating disorder which is like four years um when i actually listened to my hunger and listened to everything it only lasted four months and that might sound like a long time to someone because i know that i usually get messages and someone's like i've been having extreme hunger for a week is this normal um so like four months might sound like a lot but honestly it isn't that time goes so fast and like along with that your metabolism speeds up and like you know you your hunger does definitely start to settle down but it will get worse before it gets better that's like my main tip thing is that don't freak out because those people are like i started eating more food but now i'm even hungrier like what am i doing like why is my body not listening to me and it's all normal and it's all part of the process so let's go ahead and answer your questions that you have asked me on instagram and i will try to give you as much of a detailed response as possible so let's go ahead and answer these questions i always want to say ignore the last pass i've got a unicorn last pass on because i hurt my thumb but let's get on with questions cindy's live and recovery but when will the weight gain slow first of all stop making the weight gain the main focus that will stop you and it will hold you back um you need to make sure that you're all right you have to be like accepting of the weight gain and be like this is gonna happen and this is okay and you know what it will slow down eventually but i can't put a time frame on it and i reckon you everybody is different and your weight gain will you know plateau when it gets to its set point and it's comfortable and it's healthy and it's able to function at that weight and stuff like that so like you don't have to worry about that that's the thing you don't need to you know focus you don't need to control things every time i try to have control over something it always got worse so it's kind of given less fucks in our way of just being like you know what let's just like let this happen let's you know just see what's gonna happen i'm terrified i'm freaking out but like you know nothing bad can really come from this like when you think logically nothing bad can really come from you know eating food so let's just like bring back that whole fat phobia like and stuff like send that away and then literally just focus on just eating like you don't have to worry about anything else you don't have to worry about what your body's repairing inside all you need to do is just eat okay so eloise is recovering from an extreme hunger straight after eating sweets or fruits i feel like i want more um so i've heard this quite common that lots of people are finding um like fruits and things as well and i think that's all to do with obviously your body when you've been in the calorie deficit you start to like um want more higher calorie foods you want lower like sugars and stuff like that and fats and stuff like that so i feel like a fruit thing obviously since fruit has natural sugars um like i think that you will probably crave that more and uh you ask i don't know if you're asking me what to do with that or if you're just because you just put i feel like i want more sad face um eat more like that's the thing like you don't need to be like sweets is completely different to like vegetables like obviously in a medical term yes like vegetables has more nutrients or whatever but so do sweets sweets have like things that you also need like carbohydrates and all that jazz and sugar as well and you need sugar even more because you need your energy um so like stop categorizing these foods as good and bad and start to just see food as just food and that like i'm not being funny like i when i first honored my extreme hunger i didn't eat like hardly i didn't eat pretty much any vegetables for like three weeks or something and then i started to actually crave vegetables so i actually just ate and i still eat a lot of sweets and sugar and high fat foods and like i'm perfectly fine like i'm not being funny like i think people just constantly think that like you know you eat like four donuts and all of a sudden you become like you know really unhealthy and that's just not the case um we need to get out this mindset too of like this fat phobic kind of thing because it's just not going to help you and like this whole thing about um you know being over overweight bmi is really unhealthy because in general fact like it isn't like a lot of people's healthy weight from their body is overweight on a bmi scale um same with like things like bodybuilders and stuff they are over they class as over like overweight some of them even class as morbidly obese because muscle weighs more than fat um there's loads of factors and things and you just need to remember that like 
you don't need to control anything except from just eat <laughs> do you still get extreme hunger not anymore it's quite recent for me not to have it since like it's just been three weeks ago but i am kind of enjoying being able to just eat a slice of cake and be satisfied both mentally and physically without being like oh my god i need to eat the entire thing like now i'm kind of sick of cupcakes and things i never thought i'd say it but um like for example my mom would have to bake me a batch of cookies pretty much every week at the beginning of the week because i'd go through them in that week and then i'd have to have another one but last time my mom booked cookies was three weeks ago and i've still got some in because i've just been eating other things and like like i don't really fancy the cookies and like i often have this thing where I would eat like cakes and stuff up to the point of feeling like, sick of them and I didn't want to look at them and then the next day I'd wake up and I'd want cakes all over again whereas when I started doing it so consistently like you kind of just get sick of things over time and in large quantities and like you just need to keep going at it so how long did your extreme longer last it lasted for four months when I went all in what did you crave when extreme hunger kicked in sweet cookies um things i didn't even like like uh, macaroons i don't even like macaroons but then i started craving them and i wanted to eat them um a lot of apples and grapes as well so i did fancy some fruit i did also fancy broccoli uh, a lot of chicken nuggets such as curly fries rice um that's when i started doing my buffets and stuff because i just wanted to honor everything in one sitting pizza um lots of indian takeaways if you guys see my all-in journey you will see how many times i had a, it take away from the indians i literally lived off them for like three weeks straight um because i was just so like i just couldn't crave anything else like curry sauce was just like but like seriously like i just i just loved them but that's what i mean like i didn't crave like really healthy things i just craved what my body craved and like i didn't question it i just did it When did your extreme hunger start? Ages ago. Literally, I can't pinpoint a time because it happened so long ago. As soon as I started to eat food again properly and like quite consistently, then I guess I've all of a sudden, I got this huge hunger hit. And every time I would kind of, you know, when I was in recovery, which was like my quasi state, I'd freak out and I'd restrict. And it was just, you know, further in that padding of, you know, wanting to eat more food and then restricting. And then my body being like, oh, but I can't trust you. So then I need to send you more signals and so on and so on and so on. So, like, I just didn't like train my body to be like, you know, this is happening for a reason. She's just going to eat until it's stubble and then everything's going to be okay. But I wasn't. I was reinforced in that thing of each time I eat some food, I'm going to restrict. Therefore, I need to eat more food and make up, like, you know, get loads of, like, storage energy in myself. But, like, my my body and brain, like, I was just proving it right all the time because of the fact that I kept restricting. So, you just need to make sure that you cut the restriction and over time, that will cut extreme hunger. What do I do if I feel physically uncomfortable because I'm so full but I still find the urge to eat? um still eat like i know it's so hard when you're so bloated and you just feel so like ugh, you just feel awful um my recommendation is kind of like just lie in your bed and like eat like that um if you're allowed to of course like have a tray or something so you don't get crumbs all over your bed but like like seriously try and be in a relaxing position have hot water bottles so i have like um i have this sloth thing here and it, you put it in the microwave like you take off this little thing and you put it in the microwave and it's like really cute and it just keeps you nice and warm and it also helps your stomach so highly recommend this sloth and you can just put it this is from the works this was like i think it was only seven pound as well so highly rate little animal warmer and it's also like a really good thing to have in bed as well because it's soft it's not like a hot water bottle where it's like can't really bend because this little guy can bend all the way around <laughs> But yes, let's go on to the next question. <laughs> what would happen if I didn't allow myself to honor it? It would just go on and on and on and on. And you would probably start to, you know, you'd weight restore while restricting. And you'd still have extreme hunger when you're at weight restored. Because it just, you know, it won't really understand what's going on to your body. And you will just do what I did and then 
I relapsed basically and it ended up being like a really awful time so just don't do it like literally go and honor it because if you don't honor it it will never go away simple as so hate to scare you guys but that's a fact <laughs> how to not restrict that compensate after use that what I just said use that in your mind that each time you restrict it will just get worse so if you use the logic and the knowledge of if I just continue to eat normally and I continue to honor this hunger, then it will go away over time. But if I restrict, then I will just reinforce the brain and body pattern that every time I eat, I need to restrict. Therefore, the extreme hunger will just come back. <laughs> so just con constantly keep going that in your head. If I ignore my extreme hunger now, will I ever come over it? No, like it's not as simple as just ignoring it. It's your body and your brain sending you signals. Like your brain and body doesn't send you signals to go and pee for no reason. It's not gonna send you signals to eat for no reason. Like if everything happens for a reason and if you just ignore it, it will just get worse. Trust me from experience. Do your doctor or dietitian encourage you to listen to it? um no because of the fact that i didn't have extreme hunger when i was back with my dietitian and stuff so i didn't really get to talk to her about anything like this so not really um i have a meal plan and i'm always hungry what should i do don't listen to the meal plan go over the meal plan meal plans are just minimums to begin with and if your doctor says um no you have to stick to the minimums then you know what like that isn't a doctor at all that's not a medical professional in disorders because any professional in an eating disorder would tell you that you need to eat above that so and i'm not a professional and i'm telling you this though so like um i think it's just common sense that you can't solve restriction with restriction what if no one around you support your extreme hunger and you feel really bad and guilty and bad? Well, it's quite hard because my family really supported me because I educated them on it. Um, so I recommend you, you know, show them videos, show them videos like this, show them videos like Tabitha Farah, um, things about what extreme hunger is and, you know, show them the Minnesota starvation experiment. Um, show them all that and just give them, like, you know, knowledge because what there might be going off of like things or might be like what the doctors that they've read up online and whatever like from non-ed points of view because obviously like you know fitness and stuff like that kind of things so like um just you know just educate them like that's the best thing you can do and if they still aren't supportive of it then just go on it at your own like just do it at your own self like just do it for yourself because at the end of the day recovery is for you and recovery is for your future and if they're not on board on you getting better then tough like you know i cut out talk to people i know obviously your family is a lot harder to just cut out but what i'm trying to say is block any like comments that they might make block anything like that and just honestly just focus on you what does it really look like? Do you really eat like 10,000 calories sometimes or is this just a uh, belief of them think they said? Um, yes, you really, really do eat like 10,000 calories in like one day. Like it's crazy. Um, like a lot of my eating was always kind of, it would get to you about like half four in the afternoon and then boom, it was like a switch just clicked and it was like extreme hunger activated. And I would just eat so, so much. So I would eat like, eight cupcakes, um, cookies, chocolate plates. Um, I would go on a savory food as well because I always needed that balance because I'd start to crave savory food, um, ice cream, like you name it, I ate it and it would be in such large quantities and all in one sitting. And it just felt like you could never get to that point of satisfaction. And then all of a sudden, like it was funny because one minute you could be like, oh, I'm never gonna be satisfied of this food. And then boom, you eat something. And then all of a sudden you you feel instantly satisfied. Like, it's like crazy. Um, so like, say like you just ate like, well, 6,000 calories or something. And you're like, oh, I'm never gonna get full. And then you eat like a slice or something. And then all of a sudden, like the extreme hunger just switches off. Then you're like, whoa. And then all of a sudden you're gonna get this overwhelming feeling of like, I've just ate all that. I feel a bit sick. And you're like, you just have to sit with thoughts. The best thing I did was I just went to bed. 
and I just slept on it and I woke up and I was probably because of extreme hunger I was probably really hungry again um but everyone's different sometimes people wake up and they're really like bloated and they're still full from the night before especially if you're not used to it but you definitely get used to it all the time should you eat normal meal meals even if you only want to eat ice cream or chocolate? Yes, you do not comp compensate, so still eat, you know, your meal meals. So for a lot of time, I started to eat like sweet foods as meal meals. So I started having like, you know, pancakes and things as like lunches as well. Um, and then now I've started having pancakes as like snacks and things. So like definitely, you know, you need to still eat your meal meals and still try and get like, you know, main solid food because my best thing that I did personally was when I started eating bigger portions for meal times, my extreme hunger for like snacking kind of thing started to settle down. So um, I started eating like, you know, big warm lunches and that seemed to have like a really good impact rather than eating like, you know, like things like sandwiches, started eating like, um, like Sunday roasts like during the week and stuff like that. And that always seemed to help. So definitely like try and have bigger meals. I'm just reading through these, sorry, for few seconds. Who do you usually eat? Like I've said, cakes, a lot of cakes. Um, difference between extreme hunger and binging. Am I getting binge eating disorder? I've already did a video on this, so you can go ahead and check that out on my channel. Um, that's always a really big concern and like you shouldn't have to worry about it like at all. Is it normal to want to eat every 10 minutes? Yes, uh, as mentioned, I wanted to eat like every 20 minutes when I first started all in. Um, how long does it take typically for extreme hunger to go away? Everyone is different. Everyone is so different. Um, a little reminder, but is it normal to have diarrhea? Um, like probably everyone goes different. So some people got like really constipated and things and some people go to like the upper spectrum. So I guess it all like varies and things. So I don't know when to stop to eat. I need to eat all pa all the package even when i'm physically and mentally fine um it sounds like you're not physically and mentally fine because if you if you were physically and mentally fine you wouldn't be eating the entire packet and although you might be convincing yourself that you're mentally fine you're definitely not because you're still wanting to eat the packet and that's still mentally hunger like i think people find it really difficult to acknowledge what their hunger actually is How long does extreme hunger take? Days, weeks, or, or just a few hours? Everyone is different, so sometimes people go off for like one, like one days or whatever, or a week, and then it comes back. Like I said, um, it's, it all really varies and things. Um, did you look pregnant? I think. Do you mean do I did I get bloating? Yes, I did get bloating really badly, but it's a normal part of the process. Um, did you eat unhealthily? I ate food. <laughs> How to honor hunger when in school such busy really really hard one honestly i can't really say it like how to do that because like it's so restricting already because you can't really like you know whack out a snack but what i would recommend you do and i've heard people do is take snacks to you to the bathroom and things so say it's say you're at school um take your bag with you and then just eat like snacks and things in your bag on the way to like you know the toilet or whatever so just ask you to the toilet and kind of leave the class and i mean like they can't really stop you because of the fact that you might be on your period or anything and like if you're taking your bag it doesn't look really suspicious if you're like a girl because obviously you might have a period and like you know you need your supplies and things so then like um it doesn't look too suspicious um you know just taking your bag with you so if you have snacks put them in there just eat them on the way um where are you now do you eat more nighttime i think that's a really common thing does eating calorie dense foods stop slash limit extreme hunger yes i guess it does because you're honoring them big cravings i've got so many questions oh my god i might have to do a part two so i think i'm gonna go ahead and do a part two because it's just wow i got um i got like a lot of questions <laughs> on extreme hunger so i'm gonna have to do a part two but i hope you enjoy this video thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye